Gentlemen, hear gentlemen, me and hear me good. good. If, you, if you like sports, if you like sports, then you like the Wait a Minute Show. If you like c- c- comedy, c- c- then you like the Wait a Minute Show. If you like a different opinion coming from a different angle, then you like the Wait a Minute Show. So join me Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with your host, Jelani, J.B. Bodie, and of course, my man, Lopan, on the Two Live Stews Radio Network. Ain't that right, Lopan? to the show uh, the number to the show is 404-822-5467 you can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart show dot com uh, make sure you check out DougieDeals.com DougieDeals.com all the sales that you see anywhere else online you can find from the links and the company slash advertisers on DougieDeals.com at the very top of the page you will see Amazon that's right that's right. So support the Doug Stewart Show and Two Live Stews Radio Man by initiating your purchases from the links on DougieDeals.com. We really, really would appreciate it. And thank you. All right. Hey, um. <laughs> All right, so when we come back from the next break, I'm going to play this new diss track 
by Mace, by and I think he's back to calling himself Murder Mace. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, if you haven't heard, um, and I think he just dropped it this past weekend, if you haven't heard, former ATL pastor, preacher Mace, Mason Betha, you know, murder Mace from back in the day from Bad Boy Records, uh, who's no longer a preacher, clearly he's not a preacher now, uh, released this diss track for Cameron, and I mean, we just talked about this last week on how LL just totally just destroyed cannabis and he destroyed uh who else was it that he destroyed was it uh kumo d or somebody whoever it was man uh mace really really cut cameron to the white meat with this track yeah he really really hit below the belt i mean some very very troubling lyrics, some things that he says about Cam and what Cam has done. Um, now, it is phenomenal in the, in the, in the theme of hip-hop. It is phenomenal. I'm going to play it when we come back from the break and let you uh, take a listen to see if he went too far. I mean, for God's sake, the man used to be a preacher. <laughs> uh, Send in the chat room on Spreaker.com says, Doug, have you heard the Cam response? I haven't heard it yet. I didn't know there was already a response out. I don't, and you know what? A lot of times on, on something like this, man, it's all about who get the first punch. Now, Cam can come out and do something, come back at, at Mace or whatever, man, but it's, it's going to be hard to recover some of the shit that this man said in this damn record. Oh! Yes, yes, uh, ex-mayor Mo, she's a Laker fan, you damn right, you the ex-mayor of Ninjaville. He says, don't slip, Mace or Murder Mace used to drop bars, right. And a lot of people don't like Mace, or they didn't like Mace when he was, you know, doing this thing with Bad Boy because they, they didn't like his lazy flow. And he does have a real lazy flow, but he did, that's how he talks. That's how a lot of cats from New York talk. And so I always loved Mace's flow, um, a lot of people didn't. But when you hear this record, you're going to have a new, refound respect for Murder Mace. <laughs> yeah, Loose Neck Side says Mace brought back shiny suits. Whatever. You can talk about that man's shiny suits or whatever, but he straight know how to rhyme. He does know how to do that. So I'm going to play that coming back from the break. Um, from Cool Cell, Doug, tell your brother Georgia Tech ain't sh- <laughs> I told my brother, man, so if you if you aren't aware, we'll talk about some of the details of it later. I told my brother that uh, that I wouldn't let Paul Johnson back in the damn locker room after that game Saturday. I wouldn't let him back in the locker room, period. You you got to – we'll we'll bring your shit out to you in the front door in a box like they do in corporate America. You can't even come back in the locker room as Georgia destroys Georgia Tech on their home field in Atlanta. I actually said to my brother, man, um, I know you went to Georgia Tech. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. If you're new to the show, my brother Ryan Stewart, the other half of the two last twos, went for, played at Georgia Tech, graduated from Georgia Tech. And so Georgia Tech is very influential in the Stewart family lives. <laughs> but I told my brother the best thing that could happen in this game, truthfully, he's not a fan of Paul Johnson either, the head coach of Georgia Tech. The best thing could happen is that y'all get embarrassed on Saturday after Thanksgiving on y'all home field. And Georgia Tech and the athletic director figure they got to go ahead and make a move and move on from Paul Johnson. And that's exactly what happened. But it was ugly, ugly, ugly. From Sam Dad, he says, Gerald, I would say hello, but it's roll tide over here. Good game by your Tigers. Wow. Auburn. We'll talk about Auburn. We're going to get to all of the college football here in a second. Ex-Mayor Mo Cheese, Laker fan. UGA beats Auburn and Alabama. UGA, Clemson, and question mark. So I'll give you my thoughts on who's going to be the uh, the top four teams for the college football playoff uh, on today's show as well. From Big L, X-Squad, RC, Minnesota almost got beat by three players. WTF. <laughs> Right, from Sin, he says, Doug, without revealing too much, do you receive a fixed amount for each purchaser 
or is it a percentage based on how much we spend? I might throw a little extra in the cart. Oh, no, it's a percentage. It's a very small percentage. I say small, but it all adds up. It's a percentage on the uh, the affiliate programs on DougieDeals.com. It's a small percentage of each sale. So if you buy, let's just say if the percentage was 10% and you bought $1,000 worth of stuff, I get $100. You know, that's how it works. And remember, the thing about this, I, I don't want people to get confused. It's not like you're initiating a purchase and they're adding something on to it to cover the little commission that they give me, these companies give me. It's not that at all. All they're doing is uh, thanking me, I guess, for being the in-between between the purchaser and the buyer. And then I think I've read many times uh, or many places that, you know, they look at it as once you purchase from them, then maybe you'll purchase more things, you know, down the road online from that particular company. So everybody wins. But, yeah, it is a small percentage, man. Uh, from RC, from second place last week to last place in DraftKings this week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to save, like we normally do, I'm going to save the DraftKings talk and what happened in the two live stews slash the Doug Stewart show, Fantasy Football League, till tomorrow. But just know that your boy did good. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. woo. <laughs> you damn haters. Woo, woo, woo. Your boy did damn good. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Uh, I'll talk about it tomorrow. From uh, RC, he says, problem is Antonio Brown plays on the same team with the best running back in the league, and he'll take some of his MVP votes. Yeah. That that might be an issue as well. Le'Veon Bell, yes. I, I didn't even think about that in my whole diatribe about why Antonio Brown. Well, well, well he's not getting any conversation really either. So, whether it be Le'Veon Bell, whether it be Antonio Brown, and listen, um, you know, we'll see. It's still football will be played, but you know how this thing works. And so the media starts talking about somebody, and then everybody jumps on the bandwagon. And the way the wind is blowing right now, like it's all about Carson Wentz. And I'm not saying Carson Wentz isn't a deserving candidate. Carson Wentz is playing fantastic. you got to feel real good if you're a Philadelphia Eagles fan knowing that this kid's going to be your quarterback for the next decade. All right, I get that. But, I mean, Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, secondarily to me, deserve a little bit of conversation. You know, I haven't heard nam where it's all about the quarterbacks. It seems like it's all about the quarterbacks, unless there's no quarterback that does worth a damn in an entire season. And you know somebody, um, at least one or two quarterbacks are going to have good years in relative terms. And they just, you know, ride the quarterback's jocks. Ex-Mayor Mo Cheese, the Laker fan, he says, hold the records for catches and yards in first 90 games. And again, we're talking about Antonio Brown. Julio's a damn beast. What more can I say? Don't get it twisted. I love Julio Brown. I think Julio Brown is the second, and I mean a close second, best wide receiver in the NFL. But Antonio Brown is the natural, sir. <laughs> he is the natural. He is the natural man. I love that kid. I love his passion. Like, everything. He runs routes so so beautifully. He has great hands. Like, he don't drop shit. He go up and make catches like six foot four and six foot five guys make. Uh, he is just a natural wide receiver. I made the I gave the example last week about guys that are just naturally gifted and guys that are kind of manufactured and they work to be great. You know, and I gave the example about LeBron James and Kevin Durant. Same thing about Julio and Antonio Brown. Like, Antonio Brown, you can tell that he grew up doing what he's doing right now in somebody's backyard or somebody's playground. Julio Jones, man, he's just God gifted with all of the size and the strength and the talent and everything. You can tell he's probably been a part of a bunch of you know, high profile or very technically sound programs talking in high school, junior varsity, varsity. You know what he and who he played with in college at Alabama. And it's not it's not much of an argument. It's not that big of a difference. But Antonio Brown, man, is just amazing. I don't think he gets enough love. We get back from the break, man. More football talk from the weekend. 
404-822-5467. Today's show brought to you by DougieDeals.com. That's DougieDeals.com. DougieDeals.com. Don't go away.